The timeout with 13 seconds left. I thought Apple. <laughs> I thought they were going to pull a UCLA there for a moment. I thought they were out of timeouts and were going to run it and then not have any time left on the clock. Well, remember in the Rose Bowl last year when the quarterback from UCLA held onto the ball and ran it out of the pocket? And uh, the clock ran down and Wisconsin picked up the Rose Bowl win. It looked like this. I thought Appalachia were out of timeouts in that situation. Well, what do you do? With 12 seconds left, I'm sure they're going to go for the field goal. It's fourth and about four yards for a first down. Again, Appalachia may decide to just throw it into the end zone, go with like a miniature version of the Hail Mary pass from the 14-yard line. Well, let's see what we come up with as Patch Wonky breaks ranks and sends his team out onto the field. I see everybody out there except... Shaw. I'm trying to see who, I believe it's Nate Chesson on for the Patriots. And Paul Engen is going to call a timeout and try to ice the kicker. Of Apple East, not a bad call. We'll take a timeout here on Cable Vision of the Fox Cities, and we'll be back for this all important field goal attempt right after this. I'm just gonna tell my kid that if he ever tries it, I'll kill him. Right? That's sensitive, though. If you need help talking to your kids about drugs, call for this free book. And welcome back, everybody. It's going to be a 30 yard field goal attempt for Nate Chesson. Chesson awaiting the snap. Ball is down. Here's the kick. It's gone! Chesson boots it through from 30 yards. Nine seconds left in the ball game. Appleton East looks like they're on their way to clinching at least a tie of the conference championship with this win. A 30-yard field goal attempt, and I think we might have to give the credit to Eric Benedict, who got the ball down. It was a high snap. Benedict got the ball down. The laces turned around, and Chesson did the rest. But let's give Eric Benedict an excellent, just a pat on the back for doing an excellent job of controlling the high snap and getting it down. Benedict also had that interception that led to the touchdown by Lucas Walsh. The eight yard touchdown run with a minute 30 left in the third quarter. So a big game for Eric Benedict, the 6 180 pound senior with some huge plays in this ball game for Appleton East. Boy, that ball went straight through on a line drive for Chesson. Excellent, excellent. You should see the fans from Appleton East Lining up along the blacktop, the track just getting ready to pour on the field and mob their players and coach as soon as this uh, kick comes. Look for the line drive squib kick and maybe, maybe one play, the possibility of one play from Appleton West. Unbelievable. We have had some exciting games on Cablevision this year and this one has been no exception. The clock will start ticking. That's a loose ball. And Appleton East gets the ball. Appleton East recovers. And that's the ball game. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. It just wasn't meant to be for Appleton West. Just wasn't meant to be. This was Appleton East year. And the Patriots jump on the loose ball, and that will wrap it up. Two, one, and that's the ball game. Appleton East wins by a score of 10 to 7 in one of the most exciting high school football games you'll find anywhere in the FBA or anywhere in the state on any weekend. 
And Appleton East with back-to-back 10-7 victories against Kakana and now their arch-rival Appleton West. And they stay undefeated in the Fox Valley Association. Final score, 10-7. And we'll be back to wrap things up here from Pickett Field. Pandemonium at Pickett right after this. Hector, smile for Mommy. Oh, that's a good Hector. What are you doing this weekend that's so important you can't take a little time to test your home for radon? After all, it is the second leading cause of lung cancer, and a radon test kit is inexpensive. You could pick one.